Good morning. My name is Sophia Gustley, and I am an aerospace business analytics uh, master's candidate, and we're both from Envy Riddle Aeronautical University. Buenos dias. Uh, my name is Adrian Ordonez. I am an MBA candidate as well from Envy Riddle Aeronautical University in Daytona. Adrian and I are pleased to present our ongoing research effort regarding the emerging space economies of Latin America. So to begin with, our scope of effort uh, examines the space economy perspective from the socioeconomic development and growth of Latin America, specifically within the countries of Argentina, Brazil, Mexico, and Colombia. We decided to focus on these four countries as they have the most progress in Latin America instead of focusing on the region as a whole. We investigated the current Latin American industry, policies, and law to better understand current and future opportunities. So into our Pestle analysis, to begin with our political and legal component, all of these four study countries have space agencies. For Argentina, we have the Argentina National Space Activities Commission, Brazilian Space Agency, Colombian Space Commission, and the Mexican Space Agency. So all these four countries are positioned at a level two because they have the capabilities to operate satellites. However, Brazil is able to go a step further because they have their own spaceport and are able to conduct launches. So all these four countries have all signed four UN treaties. Um, Mexico has signed the Moon Agreement, and they all have signed the Artemis Accords, excluding Argentina. And individually, all these four countries have their own international co cooperation. So moving on to our economic component, the graph here demonstrates the government space budget um, regarding uh, the for government space station, sorry, government space budgets as shown as the share of GDP for all nations. As referenced here, there are three space frame nations that are dominant, as shown in reference, because they have a higher space budget than a higher GDP, as compared to our four studied countries. So to note here, Colombia is not highlighted as their budget isn't high enough to be represented as a share of GDP. When we come to the sociocultural component of our pestle analysis that we did, um, for each of these components we are presenting to you, we are choosing the highest weighted um, topic that we believe was important to understand. So that's what we have presented so far. In the sociocultural component, we looked at communication satellites that these countries own, operate, or use to provide societal benefit to their citizens directly. So the way we ranked our countries was depending on the number of satellites that they have. So as you can see in this slide, Brazil is um, the best position in comparison to the other countries, followed by Mexico, then Argentina, and as you can see, Colombia doesn't have any of these satellites. Moving on to the technology side, we are again focusing on satellites, and this is how we determine the presence in space for each of these countries. Uh, again, we can see the trend of Brazil being the best position country in comparison to the other ones. But in this case, we also have um, Argentina as a second place, followed by Mexico and then Colombia. Um, it is important to note that some of these satellites have dual purposes. That's why the numbers don't add up completely. Um, but this is how we determine that technology piece. Uh, and that technology, component of our PESTEL, we also focus on university support. So we can see a trend that all of these countries are starting to use universities for research and supporting the, their space industry. And not only that, but they're also adding more aerospace majors and postgraduate degrees, which is very important for the development of these countries. Lastly, environmental, we again focus on satellites, but on Earth observation technology this time. Uh, in this specific one, Argentina comes out as the best position. Then Mexico and Brazil both have two satellites for these purposes, and this is where Colombia's one satellite comes into play. Some of the applications used from Earth observation is for agriculture, for forests, for ocean, 
and all of this directly impacts each of these countries. So what we did with all of our um, literature review analysis on the PESTO that we've explained so far, we wanted to see how these countries are positioned within one another. We didn't really include other spacefaring nations because we thought that data would completely skew our results because Latin America is new and they're starting to get into the space industry, each of these countries individually. So the way we looked into this, we um, added some topics for each of the categories, and then we weighted them based on the importance that each of these has to determine how well these countries are doing. And as you can see here, Brazil comes out as the best positioned country in comparison to the other three, followed closely by Argentina. And the reason why Brazil is has a higher number here is because they have a spaceport, which gives them a very good advantage compared to the other three countries. Um, Mexico comes as a third place, and then we have Colombia, who is starting to get into the space industry and growing that part of their economy. So our next steps for what we have planned for our ongoing research efforts is to finish our collecting our data and to compile the results and analyze them into a published paper for later. And for our survey data, we hope to analyze those results on the community attitude toward space. Thank you for your time. We are very appreciative to be able to present to you all. We are now opening this time to any questions, comments, or feedback regarding our project. Thank you. Is it possible to give up your chart? Uh, yes, just one moment. Which particular slide were you looking for? Um, the one that you can graph the weight along with the pretty Gotcha. Two priors. So what you have there for the community attitude over here, you have four percent weight and you have everybody at zero with the, the one column in the center, right? So did you find anything at all with respect to secondary data in your literature reviews of how these particular countries and their people do space? So we couldn't find enough data on that to present it here, but what we are, as Sophia mentioned, if you heard, we're working on a survey where we are specifically asking people from these countries their general public knowledge on these agencies because they're very new. Um, uh, so we're trying to gather data specifically from the countries and that's what gonna, what's going to go into our chart as community attitude over space. So um, I agree with the relative numbers, I, I think your decision is wrong, but that's another story. But uh, something you want to think about is that Brazil has, in addition to the, the recent Terra launch site, is the INPE in San Jose Campos, where they have a very world-class facility for doing things. And Argentina takes their satellite up to Brazil to do that. So there's that connoisseur, uh, if you would, um, collaboration that is quite interesting, which I don't think is reflected here. It would only make it a bit different. Obviously, we we look at why does why does Kona exist, and that had to do with um, the situation at the end of the eighties when they lost the kernels and they stopped development of the Congo missile, et cetera, et cetera. So there's lots of holes to the story. Very interesting. Thank you. Uh, to touch a little on the uh, precision of the numbers, we so the way we compared it is just between those four countries. So if they're given a ten, it's not because they're a ten in comparison for like the whole global space industry for just those four. But thank you for your feedback. So this is an online question which says, will you look into reasons for some of these differences in scale of national space programs in your future work? Um, for our current study, yes, 
just because um, we are only focusing on those four countries. And granted, they're all still up and coming with and developing space programs. So our main goal for this is also outreach, since a lot of the times it's not as available um, in these regions because it's compared to here. And our goal of the research is also to provide some insight on what can we change and what can we close the gap. Thank you very much. Thank you guys.